All right, everybody, and welcome back to another Grounded. That's right, we're back in the game after having tamed a ton of pets the last time we played, and just, you know, generally taking it easy. Today, uh, I want to try to complete some more of the current set of content. Now, for context, it is currently March 27th. That's right. I record these things way in advance because I believe this one is going to be posted sometime in May. Now, between here and the future, when you're all viewing this, hopefully some new content has come out. But we're going to go through the game, complete the content that is currently available to us, and I am technically going to take a break, but... It's not going to seem like a break to you guys, because hopefully some new things will be on the horizon very soon. That said, let's get started. Alright, so first things first. Um, we have still a boss to fight. We have uh, the spider queen out there in the bushes. And we also have a chest in the pond that we need to open, as well as, I think there's one more that we need to open as well. So, I think we're going to start by trying to get some of these chests open and go from there. What do you think? So, part of prepping for this boss is going to require us to have the best possible arrows and we might as well grab some splinters before we zip time down to the desert yeah buddy it's a long ways bam I thought we were gonna slide into the desert so south of that shovel is an X. Hmm. So here's the chest. Melted moat key. Alright, so south of that shovel would be this antlion pit. Or it would be a little bit further down. I think it would be that antlion pit, if anything. Buddy, come on. Alright, good deal. Okay. Let's see if we can't find something in the salt mine. I don't see anything. Let's keep looking. Okay, so did we miss something in this antlion nest? We'll figure this out. Let's keep looking. Well, this one just leads back down into the salt mine. Man. Alright, so, where would it be? Um, west would be that way, and that's the antlion nest we already looked at. South would be down here. Oh, hey, look, there's our shadow. Oh, the handle is moving, you see that? Away. Do we have to follow the handle? Dig here? Just smack? No? Um. I want to look at that thing again. 
So maybe it's not coordinates on the map. There's the shovel. Why would it be? Is it a clock? So 12, 1, 2, is it 3? Do we have to come back at 3 o'clock? Probably 3 in the afternoon. We should go get some water. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll come back in the daytime and try that. Alright, let's climb this and see. So the handle is here now. I don't see very many sparkles. So, there's the sun. The sun is moving this way. Meaning the shadow is going to move across here? Somewhere? Oh, what was that? Big spot. Oh shit! Nice! There we go! Yeah, buddy! Oh wait, we have to keep digging? Bam! Very nice. Okay, off to the pond. What is this? A powerful weapon? Assault Morning Star? What? We're gonna have to check that out. But first, Mega Molar! Well, Milk Molar. But, one more tooth for the road. Next, we head to the pond. All right, so what's this salt morning star look like? It's not too difficult to make. Uh, we'll make it, just to see what it's like. Ooh. Let's get away from our bugs so we don't accidentally hurt them. That's kind of cool. We, 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 we might give this one a shot. Just in case this becomes our new secondary weapon. Let's go ahead and put the ant sword in the wall of retirement. All right. Let's see if we can't figure out this key. I think the first thing we're gonna do is check all these places. I looked at that whiteboard all wrong before. Maybe I did the same with some of these. Okay. Oh, hello. Ominent Practical Technologies, Dr. Wendell Tolley, Science Division, Log 88.07.01. First test demonstration of the spacer. Director Hubert Picon in attendance. Begin recording. Everyone, thank you for coming. Today, I will show you nothing less than a quantum leap forward in technology. This is the Spacer. It is a machine that has the power to shrink any object many times over, unleashing the power of the miniature world. 
Now, I'm sure that some of you will be skeptical, but I have no doubt that a demonstration of this device will show you a vision of the future, of Ominent's future, of our future. Now, if you will all put on your peeper goggles, I'll begin the demonstration. Behold, the future! <laughs> Disappointing sound of machine failure. Oh, no, 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 uh, everyone, please, please stay in your seats. Please stay in your seats. This is a minor issue, I assure you. Just give me a moment. I, I can fix this. I can fix this. Oof. All right, so. We've got. No. What? Okay. Let's suss this up. Trudy 2. That's the fish, I assume. Uh. Lily pads. Tadpole. Fish. The dome. The pH of the pond. Dead fish skeletons. There's a ring. There's up and down arrows. There's pipes. I I don't know what to make of this. There's no indication that there's a key here, right? None of those look like a key. While we're down here, we might as well grab some more of these. All right. So, this is just talking about the cabbage. Alright, the only thing I can figure is it's somewhere down here. Let's keep... What has aggroed me already? Well, there's... I, I think these are the pipes that they were showing. Fish scales. Maybe it's just buried in the mud somewhere down here. When I went through this place, I was quite in a rush, so... Wondering if I missed something in there. So was there anything in here? I don't see anything. There's a rock, there's the switch. There was a scabby in here. Back in this corner. Ugh, that room is so disorienting. I'm not done trying yet, but we're getting close to that. I did see a picture of the ring. Wondering if that's going to be a dig spot. What is this? Ooh, what is this? Uh-oh. Got him. All right. So where the heck are we now? Oh. 
Oh, jeez. We need another light before we come back down here. We gotta remember where this is. Let's go back, get a light, and get prepared. Alright. It's take two time. Let's do it. Alright. We got lanterns. And we've got oxygen. Let's see where this takes us, shall we? It was this one, maybe? Is it down here? Yeah, here we go. All right. Really nervous about this because there was a ton of spiders in here. But hopefully we'll be all right. There are oxygen bubbles, which is nice. Yeah. One at a time. Got him. Whew. Okay, let's get some oxygen. And then have a look around. Oh, jeez. Which way did I come in? I, 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 you're feeling claustrophobic here. All right, I think this is the way we came in. Yeah, this looks to be the way we came in. So, oh, right there. Bam. Nice. That should be our last key. Heck yeah. No, uh, no teeth? I mean, not to be greedy or anything, but I'd like something else. Boo? Alright, well, I guess we'll top up our oxygen and go check out this chest, shall we? Man, I should really have paid way more attention to those whiteboards than I did. We could have saved ourselves so much time. But, it was one heck of an adventure. And, ooh, a mega molar. Let's go. And, a vertical chip. Let's go check it out. All right, let's find out what's on this last burgle chip. Good to see you again. Speed increase. Is there anything else I can help you with? But first, yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Alright, so what did we get this time? Yes, please. Yes, please. Attaches to the first thing it hits. Um, I don't know that that matters. So, I think we're also going to get this for the boss fight. Alright everybody, and that's going to do it for us here today. Thank you so much for stopping out, checking out the video. I greatly appreciate you. If you've stuck around this long, be sure to get down on those descriptions and get you in on some giveaways. But, as a reminder, I am recording this in March, and it should release somewhere in May. So, hopefully, we'll have a bunch of new content.
by then to check out, aka soon for you. And with that said, take care of yourself, take care of your loved ones, stay healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. <laughs>